Question 8. Converting 12-hour time to 24-hour time, part 2. Number 1. Write each time in digital time. Now remember, digital time and 24-hour time means exactly the same thing. So for A, this is our 12-hour time or our analog time. This means 2.30 in the morning. AM means that it's morning. Therefore, only two and a half hours of the day have passed. So in digital time, it stays exactly the same. We just write 0, 2, colon, and 30. And remember, in digital time, we have no AM or PM. So this is your final answer. Directly beneath it, we have 2.30 p.m. This means it is in the afternoon, much later on in the day. Remember, in our digital time, we keep on counting on from 12 o'clock noon. So the P, we must remember, we must think plus 12 hours. 2 plus 12 hours is 14 hours. So 14 hours of the day have passed and 30 minutes. For B, 5.15 a.m. This is in the morning. It's before the sun has risen. Now, this, because this is a morning time, it stays the same. We simply write it as 0, 5, colon, 15. The hours first and then the minutes. Directly beneath it, it is 5.15 p.m. Now, this is much later in the day, in the afternoon. Think P for plus 12 hours. So there we have 5 hours plus 12 gives us 17 hours. So 17 hours of the day have passed and 15 minutes. Lastly, let's look at C. We've got 8.10 a.m. So this is 10 minutes past 8 in the morning. Because it's in the morning, only 8 hours of the day have passed. So it's 0.8. 10 without the AM, and that's our final answer. Directly beneath it, it's 8.10 p.m. now. The p.m. tells us what, that we missed, plus 12 hours. 8 plus 12 gives us a total of 20 hours. So 20 hours of the day have passed. It's already night time. And don't forget about the 10 minutes. For the last one, I'm going to do H with you. We've got 11.20 a.m. This is late morning. Now it is still morning time. So we write it as 11.20. It stays exactly the same. Only 11 hours of the day have passed. Directly beneath it, however, is 11.20 p.m., which is night time. So you are sleeping now. The day is almost over. So remember P for plus 12. 11 plus 12 means 23 hours of the, of the day have passed and 20 minutes. And there is our time in digital format. It's your turn to press pause and complete all of one by yourself now. Let's continue on to two. These are now mixed questions. Write each, digital, each time in digital time. Again, all of these times are in analog time, so we must transform them, transform them into digital or 24-hour time. Let's look at all of these together. 3.30 a.m. This is very early morning. You are not awake yet. So, only three hours of the day have passed, so it's 0.3.30. Directly beneath it, we have, for D, we have 7.15 p.m., now, p.m. means this is evening time, so p for plus 12 hours, 7 plus 12 is 19, so 19 hours and 15 minutes of the day have passed. Directly beneath it, 1.25 a.m., this is again very early morning, it's the first hour of the day, so we write it as 0, 1, it stays the same and 25 minutes. You are in bed sleeping. For J, 9.45 p.m. This is now night time. The day is 
it is heading towards its end. So again, P for plus 12. So 9 plus 12 means that 21 hours of the day have passed and 45 minutes. It's your turn to press pause and complete all of two by yourself in your workbook. Let's look at three. Match the correct time from the blocks for each time below. I'm going to do A and B with you. This time here is 8.30. It does not have AM or PM, therefore this means that it is a digital time. Now, when we have 8, the hour 8, this means that only 8 hours of the day have passed, so it's in the morning. So this corresponds to this time there, 8.30 AM in the morning. So we write 8.30 AM and we tick it off. I'm going to do one more with you. For B, we have 3.20 p.m. This is in the afternoon, so quite a, quite a lot more than three hours have passed. So we think P for plus 12. 3 plus 12 is 15, so it will be 15.20, which we have there. So this correct answer is 15.20. Now, you must use what you have learned to complete all of three by yourself in your workbook.